welcome welcome everyone i am dr l chakalingam working as a professor in school of computing science and engineering vit university chennai campus so today i am going to discuss with you about open source programming so the i'll brief you the outline of my lectures the topics i am going to cover today are open source software proprietary software introduction to php what is php file and what php can do why php file handling in php function f open and various file modes and functions related to files such as f close f eof f get s f get c f read f write unlinked f seek file get contents file put contents okay let me discuss with you what is open source software open source software is available for free of cost open source software is available with source code and users can modify the software users can install the software freely into any computer and no one is responsible for the open source software if you have any problem in the software Uh, there is no person in charge to contact you so examples for open source software are linux ubuntu open office right next i'll discuss with you what is proprietary software user need to pay some amount in order to get the proprietary software source code is not available to the user users cannot modify the software and users must have license from vendor before install into their computer full support from vendor is provided if anything goes wrong with the software examples for proprietary software are windows operating system microsoft office adobe photoshop okay let me give a brief introduction about php now php is an acronym for hyper hypertext preprocessor PHP is a widely used open source scripting language. PHP scripts are executed on the server. PHP files can contain text, HTML, cascading style sheet, JavaScript and PHP code. PHP code are executed on the server and the result is returned to the browser as plain HTML. What is PHP file? PH PHP files have extension .php php code is interpreted by a web server with a php processor module which generates the resulting web page in html okay what php can do php can generate a dynamic page content php can create file open file read file write file and close files on the server php can collect form data and submit to the server PHP can send and receive cookies PHP can add delete modify data in your database PHP can restrict users to access some pages of your website not all the pages only some pages PHP can encrypt data with PHP you are not limited to output html only you can output images pdf files and even flash movies you can also output any text such as x html and xml okay why we need php php runs on various platforms such as windows linux unix mac operating system x etc php is compatible with almost all servers used today apache ias etc php supports a wide range of databases PHP is free and you can download it from the official PHP resource www.php.net. PHP is easy to learn and runs efficiently on the server side. Okay, next I'll discuss with you how to handle files in PHP. Data stored in the array is temporary. When the program gets terminated, entire data stored in the array will be lost. File is a place on the disk where a group of related data is stored permanently data stored in the file is not structured okay next i'll discuss with you what are the various file modes 
there are eight modes i'll discuss with you one by one r first we'll discuss r mode r you can in mode r you can perform a read operation only if there is a file and if you are trying to open the file in read mode it will the file will be opened and the file pointer will be positioned at the beginning of the file and the second mode is r plus if you try to open the file in r plus mode the file will be opened and the file pointer will be positioned at the beginning of the file here you can perform a read and write operation next is w mode you can perform write operation only if the file exists it will open the file and it clears the content of the file if the file does not exist it will create a new file and in w plus mode you can perform read and write operation if there is a file it will open the file and it will clear all the contents inside the file if the, if the file does not exist it will create a new file in append mode in a mode you can perform append operation if there is a file exist it will open and it will preserve the content of the file you can add content to the end of the file if the file does not exist it will create a new one in a plus mode you can perform read and append operation if the file exist it will open the file and preserve the file content uh, and you can write a new content to the end of the file if the file does not exist it will create a new one in x mode you can perform write operation only it creates a new file if uh, if it does not exist and if the file exist the fun this function will return false and an error message in x plus mode you can perform read and write it create a new file if the file does not exist if the file exist it will throw an error message and the function returns false okay next we'll see first we need to open the file using the function f open f open is a function that is used to open files in php and it accepts two parameter the first parameter of this function is the name of the file and the second parameter is the mode so here the name of the file is welcome.txt and the mode is r and this is the php file and if you look at this here html code is embedded with php so whenever you want to write php code you should use this tag less than question mark php and write all your php code and once you complete the php code you need to use question mark and greater than symbol then finally you save it as name dot php any name dot php file next i'm going to give an example for f open if you look at this this is a php file here i'm trying to open the file welcome dot text in read mode let us assume that if this file does not exist if there is no such file and if you are trying to open the file using f open function and if this file does not exist then in this case f open returns false and it throw an error message so here this is an error message unable to open the file if the file does not exist if this file does not exist you will get this error message unable to open file if the file exist then this file will be opened and the file pointer will po will be positioned at the beginning of the file next f close function this is used to close an open file after all the operations are over you have to close the file using f close function if you look at this this is the function to open the file and perform whatever operation you want and finally you need to close the file using f close function next is function f eof this is used to check end of file so this function checks if the end of file has been reached the file end of file function is useful for looping through the data of unknown length you cannot read from files opened in w a and x mode this feof you can use only in r r plus mode 
and this is an example we are checking the file pointed if it reached end of file then we will display the message end of file okay next we'll see uh, the function fgets the fgets function is used to read a single line from a file after a call to this function the file pointer has moved to the next line if you look at this i'm trying to open the file welcome.txt in read mode and once it is successful i'm going to check when i open the file in read mode the file pointer will be positioned at the beginning of the file so here i am checking while not file end of file so here this is pointing to the beginning of the file so this is not the end of the file so when it is not end of file it goes inside the while loop so f get us function as i told you that it will read a single line so the single line is read and it will be displayed and br tag is to dis uh, is to uh, bring the cursor to the next line and it goes to the second iteration in the loop and it will read the second line and it display the second line until it reaches the end of the file when it reach end of file it comes out of the while loop and we are closing the file so this is how we can read uh, the contents of the file line by line using f get as function next function f get c a uh, reading a file character uh, reading a file character by character f get c function is used to read a single character from a file after a call to this function the file pointer moves to the next character okay this is the fun uh, uh, this is an example for f get c here i am trying to open the file welcome.txt in read mode if it is successful i am checking whether it has reached end of file if it is not end of file using f get c function i am reading character by character so here the first character is read and it will be displayed and it goes to the second iteration so like that it uh, it reads all the characters in the file when it reach end of file it comes out of the loop and it close the file next function f read this is used to read specified number of bytes from the file this function accepts two parameters file pointer which points to a file and the number of bytes to read from the file this function returns the re read string on success or false on failure okay this is an example for f read here this is the name of the file i have stored it in dollar file name and uh, here i am trying to open the file in read mode so f read dollar handle so this is the file pointer file size file size file size is the function that is used to find out the total number of bytes in the file so this will calculate the total number of bytes the size of the file and the so here in this case the entire file is read using f read function the entire file is read and that will be stored to a string dollar contents and finally we close the file next function f write so this is used to write the content of the string to the file pointed to the file this function accepts three parameters file pointer which points to your file a string that is to be written and length argument is optional and if it is given writing will stop after the length of bytes have been written or the end of string is reached whichever comes first this function returns the number of bytes written on success or false on failure okay look at this example f write example here i am trying to open the file data dot text in write mode so i am going to write using the file pointer i am going to write 1 and again using f write i am going to write 2 3 so here the content of data dot text now will be 1 2 3 3 and not 2, 3. because uh here i am writing 1 and 2 2 3 in the next line so if there is a previous content in data dot txt that will be erased next so let's see how to delete a file there is a function called unlink so that will delete a file this function will return true on success true on success false on failure look at this uh, php code here so i am trying to delete the file if i am unable to delete the file then it will check if not unlink 
of dollar file it will throw an error message error deleting file if i am able to delete the file then it will display deleted the name of the file for example if you are trying to remove a file which does not exist then it in that case it display the error message error deleting file if you are trying to delete the file which exists then in that case it display message deleted the name of the file next function f seek so this is uh, f seek function seeks in an open file this function move the file pointer from its current position to a new position either forward or backward specific, specified by a number of bytes this function returns zero on success or minus 1 or failure seeking past end of file will not generate an error and this is the format there, there are three parameters f seek file the name of the file and offset so this will move from the current location to the new location and whence has three values we'll discuss what is whence so the first parameter is file that is required you need to specify the name of the file and uh, offset is required this field the second parameter is also required field and you have to specify the new position that this position is measured in bytes from the beginning of the file and the last parameter whence is optional and the possible values for whence are seek set seek underscore cur seek underscore end seek underscore set will set the position equal to offset this is by default and seek underscore current this will set the position to current location plus offset seek underscore n this will set the position to end of file plus offset to move to a position before end of file the offset must be a negative value we'll see an example for f seek here i am trying to open the file file dot text in read mode so i am then i am calculating the uh, length of the file using file size so that will be stored in location loc then f seek dollar file comma dollar loc plus 2 so here dollar loc will display the max the length of the file will have the length of the file so length of file plus 2 so in this case i am moving past end of file so it will not generate any error it will not generate it will not generate any error message and there is no output also because you are going beyond end of file so here you will not get any output dollar line equal to f get s dollar file so if you are trying to read the line you cannot read after the end of the file so in that case there is no output there is no error message here so you should be careful um, in using f seek function okay next is, this is the second example for f seek so here i am trying to open the file in read mode and look at this seek here i am passing three parameters the first is the file pointer the second is the offset so if you give negative value minus 5 and this is seek end seek end is the whence whence value is seek end so it goes to the end of the file from the end of the file it goes um it goes backward five characters so this f seek will read the last five characters in the file so if you if you perform read operation it will perform the last five characters in the file next function is file get contents this function reads entire file into a string if you look at this this is the name of the file so using that file get contents i will read the entire file and store it in a string called str so if you echo this if you display this string the entire file will be displayed next is function file put contents this function writes a string to your file if you look at this this is the name of the file so i am going to write a new content into the file so look at this parameters of file put contents the first is the file pointer the second is the new content i am going to write and if you put file append then you can append the content to the end of the file if you don't use this flag then the previous content will be replaced by a new content if you use file append the previous content will be preserved and the new content will be added to the end of the file 
a lock x flag is to prevent anyone else writing to the file at the same time. Oh, thank you. For any queries, please mail me at chokalingam.l at vit.ac.in.